So here we have our free range Christmas turkey. I'm going to unwrap this and dress it ready for the oven. Now I'm going to prepare a festive stuffing. So this can be based on your family favourite flavours. Today I've chosen traditional sausage meat and into there we're going to add the zest of a lemon. This will give it a nice fresh aroma to counterbalance the richness of the fruit and dried nuts. Some chopped rosemary, a little extra cracked black pepper, some chopped prunes and some chopped cashew nuts. Then we go with the chopped nuts, the chopped prunes and the rosemary. And then all we need to do is simply old fashioned, get your hands in there, give it a good mix up, don't overwork it so it becomes tight and chewy. Just get it all evenly distributed and then we're ready for stuffing the turkey. I'm now about to prepare the butter for roasting the turkey. So it's a simple combination. Add the butter into a bowl. Zest the lemon. So the full zest of a lemon so that we get nice and fragrant. This can be substituted with an orange, but I always like the lemon with the roasting of the turkey in the butter. I think it's got a real nice natural harmony together. Add the good sprinkle and salt, approximately two teaspoons, which is gonna season and baste the turkey as we cook. And then a few thyme leaves. Fork it together and give it a good mix up. You can do this in the machine, but I just find it just as easy just to do it by hand. And that is ready to go now to apply to our turkey ready for roasting. Now that we've prepared our seasoned butter, stuffing, and the turkey is ready, we're gonna get ready for roasting the perfect Christmas turkey. First step is to take the butter and we're gonna gently remove the skin from the flesh meat and place the butter underneath. Once we feel comfortable that we've got enough leeway there, we'll start gently adding the butter through there. It's a little bit of a messy job, but it's really worth it in the end because it adds a beautiful succulence and butteriness to the finished product. As we roast, the butter will melt and as opposed to piercing it on the outside of the skin where it'll just literally run away, it'll run into the meat and create a nice, moist, finished product. Any waste, we can just finish it off and then it's just really easy now just to massage over the top and get it all the way cover covering the breast meat is the most important the legs sort of look after themselves with them having more moisture natural juices in there so it's just so this don't end up with a dry turkey breast place the sausage meat fast that we uh, previously made into the cavity so again we just make sure the skin's loose gently feed this in we don't want to overfill it as it'll, it'll burst and explode as, it, as we cook. We just get a nice amount of stuffing in there to give it some flavour as it roasts. Then we'll just simply tuck the skin back underneath and then any stuffing that we have remaining, we've got a couple of options to do with this. My favourite is just roast it alongside the bird so that it becomes nice and crisp on the top. The other nice thing that we do is make little balls, wrap them in bacon, make stuffing balls that roast alongside and serve with your traditional trimmings. The final stage of preparation for the turkey, we're just going to stuff this cavity with large cut onion. We've got some lemon to go through that. Again, just cut large and split. And then a nice bunch of aromatic herbs. So what I've got here is some rosemary and thyme. We'll push them into there so that we go right inside and then that's our turkey prepared ready to go in the oven tray for roasting so the next stage ready for the oven is to cover with tin foil i'm going to add a small cup of water and then set the oven for 160 degrees fan 180 without fan we're going to roast 40 minutes per kilo Okay, so the turkey's now two hours in. I've just removed the tin foil carefully to keep it one side. And we're gonna baste it with a little bit of its own natural juices and fat. Don't be alarmed at the idea that the turkey at this stage has got no color. We're gonna put all the color on once the fat's rendered, which will give us a nice crisp exterior, but also help retain the moisture within. 
So we've basted it. I'm going to put the foil back on, pop it back in the oven. We'll give it another hour and then we'll check again, baste again. Okay, so the turkey's had three quarters of its cooking time. We're going to remove the foil now, increase the temperature of the oven to 200 degrees fan, 220 no fan, and give it around 25 to 30 minutes, keeping a close eye on it until the skin starts to go nice and golden brown and the core temperature of the turkey when we pierce at the thickest point between the thigh and the breast is a minimum of 75 degrees. So here we've got our finished roast turkey. The most important thing we need to do now is leave this rest. So loosely cover it with the foil like you cooked it in the initial stages. Leave it rest for at least one hour. So I would recommend up to half the cooking time. Okay, so here we have it, our festive roast turkey. Scented with lemon butter, filled with sausage meat, infused with prunes and cashew nuts. So, the easiest way I find to uh, carve the turkey is to first of all just simply remove the wing bones. We shouldn't need too much effort to do this. Removing the legs is quite straightforward. We run the knife through the centre, it'll break away nice and easy if it's well cooked. Pop it onto there and then we're ready to start taking the stuffing out and carving the crown. From the crown we'll just carve nice long slices away. You've got some beautiful white meat, rich roasted leg meat and then we're simply going to get a spoon and remove the stuffing and place on the side. Mm -hmm. 